So in today's lesson, we are going to show you three proven quick and almost instant ways to be more confident in your business because we all know that our business is an extension of us. How big our business gets, how many people our business helps and how much money our business makes and how much money we generate from our business is directly correlated to how we show up, how we show up for our prospects, how we show up for our tasks, how we show up for our clients, how we show up for our team. So when we increase confidence, Everything that we want to increase increases with it. Money, revenue, team morale, fulfillment, action, productivity. So let's talk about it. Here's three ways to become more confident in your business. And before we get into the three things really quickly, I just wanna let you know, we've run this over 400 times with the men that come into our coaching program at Wake Up Wealthy because if we look at why we aren't making the money we wanna make, it's because we are procrastinating on high level shit. We're procrastinating on high, um, almost asymmetrical return action. Actions that once we take them once, produce massive returns, right? So building systems, um, getting, into, getting into powerful sales conversations, leadership, hires, building SOPs, right? It's the stuff we procrastinate on that determines how much money we make. And so confidence overwhelms procrastination. Confidence is the cure for procrastination because think about it. If you were confident you could do something, would you procrastinate on it? The answer is typically no, right? So if you are someone who struggles with procrastination within your business, within the, the, the high revenue generating things within your business, this, this lesson is directly for you. So the first thing, the first way to regain confidence or add more confidence within your business is what I call zooming out. Now, when we start to get really insecure, when we start to get really nervous and anxious and overwhelmed and, and um, hyper vigilant, right? We start to overthink, we're, we tend to be zoomed in on one specific thing, one specific problem, one specific client, one specific chargeback, one specific, um, one specific competitor. Like we get very narrow, we get very focused, hyper focused on something, and not the good focus, not the discipline focused. We almost become obsessed, right? Of how we look, how we appear, how we're coming off, how we rate against the competition. We we get zeroed in on one thing, and we start to define ourselves by that one thing. And usually it's a negative thing. And so when I'm coaching men, I tell them, take a deep breath, literally breathe, change your physiology. And imagine zooming out to take like that, that 10,000 foot view of reality, right? And when you do that, a few things become clear. One, no one has everything figured out. Every single person that you compare yourself to, every single competitor, every, every single person on social media that you look at and then you feel bad about yourself, they're an imperfect human and they don't have their shit figured out either. Every single person is waking up every day and just doing the absolute best they can, but no one really has it all together. And so when you zoom out, you can see that. You can see that you are on your path doing the best you can. All these other people that are causing you stress, they're just simply imperfect humans on their path doing the best they can. And so when you have that awareness, something else becomes clear. You see how far you've really come. It's easy to get focused on what we haven't done yet. It's easy to get focused on the money we don't have yet, the goals we haven't hit yet. And when you just define yourself by all of those things, yeah, you're gonna feel like shit. And when you zoom out, you get to see that, yeah, you have come a long way. Yeah, you do have things in your life to be grateful for. When you have that expanded level of awareness, you stop being so self-centered, right? You stop, you stop being so selfish and you go, yeah, I, I do. I do have a lot going for me. Yeah, I am comparing myself to people who aren't really perfect. They're just, they're, they're just as imperfect as you are. And so when you zoom out, it allows you to regain that perspective and perspective shifts physiology. When we change how we look at something, when we change how we think about something, our body changes, our heart rate changes, our mind changes, our brain waves change. So literally taking a deep breath and zooming out and, and realizing that not everybody has their shit together. Everyone's just as imperfect as you. Everyone has their own insecurities and stuff. Everyone's working towards goals and you have come a long way. That zoom out cools your body down, cools your mind down, and that's what sets the stage for confidence. So the second way to instantaneously become, or I guess instantly, whatever, instantly become more confident in your business is visualization. Because, and they've done studies on this over and over and over and over and over again, that those who visualize are more effective in what they do. Those who visualize free throws are 70% more accurate in their free throws. Those who visualize closing deals actually close more deals. And so a lot of us, we're visualizing the opposite. Whether we know it or not, we get nervous, we lose confidence because subconsciously, 
we're anticipating it going poorly, right? Subconsciously, we're anticipating the task being hard or the person saying no or being judged. So we're always visualizing, it's just a lot of the time we're subconsciously visualizing the negative. And that's what brings about the anxiety and squashes the confidence. And so taking a moment to visualize, breathe again, right? Breathe, come back into your body and visualize the desired outcome. That instantly calms your nerves. That instantly organizes your brain waves. It instantly brings your neocortex online, which is the, the, the powerful positive thinking center of your brain. And it turns down the fear center of your brain. So before you get on that call, take a second. What is the intention? And visualize it, right? Visualize them saying yes. Visualize them paying the invoice. Right before you walk into the gym, visualize that amazing pump. Visualize that good feeling at the end of a workout when you're sweaty and fulfilled. If you're about to go on a date night, what is the intention? Visualize the conversation being amazing. Visualize the connection getting stronger, right? Visualization, when you consciously, purposely visualize the positive outcome, you start to become more confident. And here's what happens subconsciously. Our subconscious mind is always filtering our experience based on what we expect. And so when we visualize a positive expectation, our subconscious mind starts filtering out the negative and starts filtering in the positive. So literally, we can actually create a positive self-fulfilling prophecy when we visualize the positive outcome. So instead of subconsciously visualizing things go poorly, consciously choose to visualize things going the right way. A couple minutes of positive visualization will increase your confidence in any given moment consciously and subconsciously. Now, the final way to increase your confidence, how you show up in your business is, it's kind of like a two-piece thing. It's fitness and meditation, right? Two things that at this point have been so well researched and so well documented thousands and thousands of times in peer reviewed studies that it's like a super drug at this point and we're stupid if we don't utilize it. But fitness and meditation both do two powerful things to your neurochemistry and your physiology. They increase your feel good hormones. They increase serotonin and dopamine and oxytocin. These chemicals that literally make us feel more confident, make us feel more energetic, make us feel happier, more direct and more outgoing. Now they also minimize cortisol. They minimize norepinephrine, these, these, these chemicals and hormones that make us anxious, that make us nervous, that make us overthink, right? And so training three to five times a week and meditating as part of your daily routine will increase your baseline confidence every single day. It'll increase your baseline calmness every single day from the inside out at a cellular level, at a scientific level, at a neurophysiological level, you'll become more confident day by day by day. So. Those are the three powerful ways, the three bulletproof ways to increase your confidence within your business. And again, how you show up in your business, how you speak, how you handle actions, how you take initiative, how you overcome procrastination, all directly relates to your level of confidence. And so think about the really the powerful revenue generating pieces within your business, right? When you can show up more confidently, yeah, confidently and more consistently in those areas, you're gonna make more money, your business is gonna help more people and you'll just be more fulfilled. So again, remember, step one, zoom out, regain awareness, breathe and understand no one has their shit figured out, no one's perfect. Every, all the people you compare yourself to have all the same insecurities you have, right? Zoom out and have that level of awareness. The second thing is choose to visualize the positive outcome instead of subconsciously visualizing the negative outcome. This will really gear up your positive conscious mind and your subconscious mind to focus on the positive task and get you there more quickly. And finally, fitness and meditation. Fitness and meditation level you up from the inside out at a cellular level, at a neurological level. It literally makes you more confident. It changes your hormones and your neurochemicals so that you're more clear, more direct, more calm, more confident in the moments you need it most. So run these three things. I've seen men take these three performance hacks and literally double, triple, 10x their income in 90 days or less. I've seen it in Wake Up Wealthy Brotherhood and the men we coach. So this shit works, man. So if you have any questions, comment below and I'll see you in the next lesson.